Hello from Blaine's, uh, or Blana's, I don't know how you say it. Spent a couple of days here in this car park, which is pretty cool. There's a few camper vans. Today is the less glamorous side of camper van life. We have a wash to do. We're not going to wash everything, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're going to go and wash the van. That's we parked under a tree and it's got bird shit all over it, so. Penny is doing her man duties. <laughs> I said I would help, but there's only one sprayer. Oh my god! It's getting me! Yeah! But I think Penny is like, oh my god, I am getting soaked. Where we were parked in Lorette, we were right under a tree. So we had loads of, I don't know, you see. There's like loads of bird poo on the van. She's already an eyesore as it is, you know, like big and yellow. <laughs> so the last thing we then wanted is like her covered in bird shit. Oh, this is Penny. Giving her a much needed wash before we set off to our next place. She's stressing out because you timed on it. I don't know. Oh my god. No, there's still stuff coming out. You get that bird poop, honey. We've come to do our laundry. Much needed. Oh, <laughs> oh god, yeah, let's look at that on camera. Um, much needed because we actually, this is the first wash that, and we've been here five weeks now. This is our very first one. I have no idea how I actually have that many pants to last me five weeks, but I do. So yeah, this is where we are, laundry day. Just our luck. Um, Penny put 20 euros into the machine to pay and it just took him on air and he's not done anything. 20 fucking euros. So at first we're trying to ring this number up here. I emailed this, but obviously email, you don't know when they're gonna get back in touch. Rang these numbers up here, couldn't ring them because then we had to Google to find like the area code for here. And we've been sat now for about half an hour, just waiting for a reply because we managed to get the WhatsApp and the number we've messaged and emailed and stuff saying, you know, the machines took our money, but it's not doing anything and we want our money back. Um, but luckily, just now, the man has just WhatsApped me back saying he'll be here in 20 minutes. I did say to Penny with the time, because it's 2 o'clock, it was 2 o'clock when we got here, I said, you know, would there be CS during at this time? But we were, we were panicking, thinking, because obviously someone comes here at about half 9, 10 to close it. We were thinking we were going to be sat here till 10 o'clock tonight, waiting for someone to come. But problem solved. I hope they don't come in the light. No. No, no they'll be able to see how money is in that machine. It's in there. I mean, I bet nobody, I bet everyone else wants them cards that they just yeah. wear. Take it. I had to get this on the vlog because honestly, this stuff like. It always happens to us. Yeah. Literally. Always. We have the worst luck. And <laughs> they were going right well. Like, we did get up later than we thought because we just couldn't open his eyes. But then, like, I feel like we're making good time with Wesh Bang because there were bird poop on it, obviously, it's soon. Um, Filt water up, then you know that only takes half an hour or something, and then it's drying. So I thought, yeah, we'll be in his new place like pretty early, but just yeah. our luck. Calella because two L's in Spanish means a Y. You pronounce it as a Y, so it's Calea. It's just next to Blanc's. This is the Balearic Sea. <laughs> and up here is the uh, Calea Lighthouse. We're just having a little mission around. Here we go up late again. We do set an alarm, it's just difficult. I, 
we, we, we always end up getting in bed late, like we're walking around and then we have tea late and we get in bed late. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're, we're just not morning people. Plus, think. like, if we know the weather's not going to be that great, like, it doesn't really make a difference, does it, what time you're up? Because it's cloudy. Yeah, we're just having a little explore. Is your first time here, really? Yes, it is. This is my favourite ever shop in Spain. If you ever come to Spain and you see one of these, have a nosy in. They just sell like random shit, but this is the second one. I've already dragged her into one in, where was it? The other one? Blanche. Blanche. Now we're going in this one. They'll all sell the same shit, but I'm just... She likes how they up. <laughs> Absolutely news. They're awful. Fucking nuts. Uh, some flasses we got from France. I hate them. Just come and got a bubble tea. This is a taro bubble tea with oat milk and tapioca balls. Very excited. From this cute little place. Your tea time. Thank you. Honey was looking through these shirts and she found the perfect one. I've been wanting to get one of my girlfriend, but I think we got a winner. <laughs> How is that a bubble tea? It's time for mine. How is it? Nice. <laughs> and we're right next to this. I'll show you in a second. It's like a bell tower. Oh yeah. Let me see. Maybe tell tell your moon's tower, maybe. Oh maybe. Maybe. Well, maybe. <laughs> I'll get a better video in a second. It may be pissing it down, but that does not stop Penny from having her pint well, the, outside. The going off and I'm going to shit. <laughs> I'm sat here drinking. Happy British summertime. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're back at the van now. I have just made myself a cup of coffee. I've got my earphones in because I'm just about to work on some more vlogs because the vlogs, the editing and everything is down to me but I just thought I'd show you so we went to these shops today and Penny and me had us first like barter with the man for these uh, like travel kind of trousers I'm going to show you in a second Penny is modelling one pair they were paired for me for my birthday but we managed, we, the first shop when we went in, the man was like, um, we was like, how much? And he said, oh, he, they were Indian, by the way, the, uh, in both shops. And the first man was like, oh, uh, you know, trying to say like, for you, for, for British girls um, in, from England, uh, special price, one for 28 euros. They didn't have any prices on, one 28 euros. And we were like, no. Like, we know that they can get these really cheap. And we were just like, no. Um, and then anyway, managed to get him down to how much? Two for, two for 28 basically. So it had gone from trying to sell us one for 28 to two for 28. So you, you can see how they're just, he was just trying to have his pants down at first. But then we said no, walked off, went to the other shop uh, with the same kind of trousers with this other man. And in the end, we managed to get two for 26 euros. However, we probably could have got 
and better price but I kind of like jumped in because I really love them but Penny was trying to get it down for two for 20 euros <coughs> um, but I got too excited but I need to learn to leave Penny to the bartering basically and just keep out of it but I'm just going to show you them because they are I love them so much okay so these are the trousers they're like proper traditional travelling trousers. I love them. I think they're so cool and quirky. And in Morocco, obviously, they have to cover up. Yeah. There's a light. Yeah. So, you know, make it look. If you're alright on beach, but we're not marking them, you don't want to be mauled. And just hold up the other pair. Hold up my pair. They're very similar, uh, slightly different. I love them. Look. I love them. So right. cute. I'm obsessed with them. This is the amazing dinner that Penny has made us tonight. Thank you, my angel. You're we have ramen with just everything tasty in there. Cucumber, soy, kimchi, our favorite. This is, what's this again, Pam? It's like just like garlic and soy cabbage. Oh yeah, garlic and soy cabbage and some gyozas. Lettuce, oh, sorry. It's the same lettuce that's in here. Yeah. Doesn't this look amazing? I can't wait. 